Hey everyone, it's Sam with Just Grill and Outdoor Living. Today we're going to be cooking up a seafood favorite, lobster, on the Weber Smokefire Pellet Grill. Lobster on the grill is really easy to do and there's a couple different ways that you can do it and I'm going to show you two different ways today. The lobster tails that you find at the grocery store are either going to be warm water or cold water. This really will be a taste preference but I prefer the cold water tails. They're not as big but I feel the meat is more tender. The way you cook them is the same so I'll be using both types. Let's get the grill nice and hot. I want to grill these at 450 degrees. I'll let this preheat while preparing the tails. I'm going to use hickory pellets to add a good smoke flavor. First thing we want to do is rinse these tails off. Just run them under some cold water. There's two ways to get these tails ready. You can either use a large cook's knife or some food scissors. I'm going to use these Wusthof shears and snip my way up the back of the tail. I'm just snipping the shell right now and not cutting the lobster. I want to snip until I reach the fin. I don't want to cut all the way through the fin. Here's where I'll show you how to prep these two different ways. I'll take my knife and without going all the way through, I'll make an incision along the line I just snipped going about three quarters of the way deep. For the tail that I just cut through, I want to reach in and break it open. I'm going to be butterflying it. Don't worry if you hear the shell cracking, that's normal. Once I have it open, I want to run my fingers along the inside edges, loosening the meat from the shell on the sides. I don't want to fully detach it because I need the bottom of the shell to hold the meat when cooking. Now for the other tail. I've already cut the shell open. I want to pry and crack the shell open, but I'm going to pull the meat from the shell. So I'm going to loosen it from the edges and the bottom, but leave it connected all the way back at the fin. Now I'm going to close the shell and then place the meat on top as so. My plan is to purely smoke one tail and grill slash smoke the other. These tails are ready to be seasoned. I like to use a touch of salt and olive oil. Most of my flavor is going to come from the base we're going to make. It's not lobster without butter and that's what we're going to base these tails with during cooking. I'm going to melt some butter and mix it with a seasoning of my choice. This is where you can be a little creative. I'm going to use the Killer Hogs AP rub. You just pour it in and mix with the butter. We're at 450 degrees, so let's get these tails on the grill. I'm going to put the butterfly tails face down to start and the other tails leave sitting up. I'll leave the butterfly tails face down for about one to two minutes. It's time to turn the cold water tails over and let the shell side sit on the grates. I'm going to start basting these tails every minute to minute and a half to keep them moist and maximize my flavor. I'm looking for these tails to hit an internal temperature of 140 degrees. The cold water tails are not as thick as the warm water tails, so they're going to finish ahead of the warm water tails. We're at our 140 internal mark, so let's not waste any time pulling these tails. If you have any of your butter marinade left over, just pour it over the top now or you can leave it as is. These tails have a really nice glow to them and are dripping with buttery goodness. Now for the best part. Mm. It's buttery, it's juicy, it's tender, it's got a little smoky flavor to it. Can't beat this at any restaurant. That's lobster on the Weber Smoke Fire Pellet Grill. I hope you like this recipe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the store soon.